a very good evening to you. Welcome to Larry United GAA Club in the village of Stradone in County Cavan. Of course, the home of the great late PJ Duke, a very vibrant club in County Cavan. And they are, in the coming weeks, about to celebrate 50 years uh, in existence as, as Larry United. And I'm joined by a number of personnel from the club tonight to give a brief summary of what the celebrations are about. And Gary Robbins, uh, your organising committee, of course, can you tell us why this and why now? Well, I suppose, as I said earlier on, um, this, this event is um, six months in the planning. It's 100 years in the making. Uh, we recently celebrated the 50th year of the amalgamation of Stallone and Larry to Larry United, and we thought this is a good opportunity uh, to celebrate that, look back, and uh, look at what we have currently, and to look look to the future. So we have a schedule of events on that whole weekend in July to promote everything that's good about Larry United and to celebrate what we've done in the past. Starts, of course, on the 11th of July, and uh, maybe give us a brief summary of what the weekend entails. Yeah, look, at, as, as a government else, it started off, we might have a barbecue on a Saturday evening, and that, that's kind of uh, expanded into a whole four-day calendar of events. We're starting off on Thursday, the 11th of July, with a, a couple of underage uh, games involving girls and boys, an under-13 match for the Cadona Shield, sponsored by Park and, and Carmel Rudden. Then on, the, on that, later on that night, we're doing a bit of a history of the club, who will bring down personnel from all different areas of, the areas of the club, chat to them, get some stories and a bit of nostalgia, and uh, look forward as well. Then we move into the Friday. We have more underage football on the Friday. And then we're going to have a huge display of memorabilia in the hall, photographs, jerseys, cups, etc., etc. And that rolls into our, a huge Thanksgiving service, which is going to be led by Father Martin, Canon Lidwell and Father Andrew Tully, on the Friday night, and that's going to be a real celebration of everything, everything Larry United. And then we move on, we're having an up for the match later on after that, with a host by Paddy Shane and with some of our, our former victorious captains. Move into Saturday, there's a whole host of football the whole day and Camogie all day on the Saturday. We're going to remember PJ Duke, Cahill and Maura Brady, Sally Robbins, Andy Oates, Nancy O'Rourke, and the late Philip Devine. And then our headline event on the Saturday night is the Carnival, as we like to call it. And that's going to have music by the Fuzzy Burgers here. Again in the hall here, which should be a great night. And then to wrap the whole thing off on the Sunday, our newly formed mothers and others will take to the field on Sunday with four or five different teams and a, again, a host of football the whole day on, on the Sunday. Well, that's a very attractive bill of events for that particular weekend. Thomas McKenna, you are currently the chairman of Larry United and it's a great era and a great time to be chairman when you're celebrating. Oh yeah, it is. It is great and it's... It's great to be for the mark this occasion, and I suppose it is a sort of an honour. I always said it that it was an honour to be chairman of Larry United, and, and it's more of an honour now on a big event like this. It is great to celebrate. Fifty years ago, a lot of astute people came together and, and formed this club and amalgamated both Lara and Stradone, and it has been very, very successful. I suppose we've had really successful years in the early 80s and, and had barren years as well, but then we had, we have, after having good years, winning a junior in 2012 and winning an intermediate in 2019, and, and we're now currently in the senior championship and holding our own. So, yeah, it is a great time and it is great to be fit to celebrate this. Would it be fair to say that 2012 was probably the beginning of the rejuvenation of the club? Yeah, I suppose, yeah, everybody felt that when we went to junior it was going to be a struggle, but 2012 we won that junior championship, probably went into it as underdogs and, and won it, and since that there has been a bit of belief back, and we thought we might win an, an intermediate sooner, but we, we, we got to semi-finals and we struggled a bit, but eventually in 2019 we won the intermediate, so we did, and it has been good, it has been good. I suppose the real start of Lara and Stradone started in the early 70s with an amalgamation called St. Bridget's and then it, it blossomed into Larry United. Oh yeah, and, and again, like it was really lucky to have such a really, really good crop of footballers back then as well, like, you know, and that is what made Larry United what it is, like, we have been successful, three, four senior championships, junior championships, intermediate championships, so it has been since his amalgamation it has been pretty successful. In other words, history will show that uh, football in the club has been kind to you. Oh, very much so, yeah. And, and along with all those massive achievements at senior level and, and junior level and intermediate, there has been massive achievements at underage levels as well, like right across the club. Like. 
Well, Philip Devine, you are ladies chairman, and uh, it would be remiss of us not to have you on board tonight. Uh, I got acquainted with your late father, Phil, many, many moons ago. We became great friends, but it was people like your dad and others within the club that helped cement what is a very strong club now. Yeah, um, he like uh, he's passed about eleven years ago, but up until he got sick, he was very involved with the club from nearly from the start, the whole way through. He probably done nearly every job in the club, and kind of I was dragged along with him growing up. So kind of it's kind of fitting that I'm still involved with the club. I played as much as I could, and then I stepped in and I'm back involved with the club as a, as on the committee. So it's kind of it's 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 in my blood to be involved with the club and I'm I'm, I'm glad and I'm honoured to be involved with the club and especially this great occasion celebrating 50 years. And how important is it for a club like Ireland United to have a vibrant ladies section as well of which you are now the chairman? Yeah, the ladies, there was previously a ladies club that uh, kind of disbanded a couple of years ago but they came back together the last four years and it's great to see them back and this is the first year that we have a uh, football team at all age groups from under eight the whole way up to senior level so they are building and it's the way forward and the ladies are getting more and more involved and they're getting better numbers so it's great to see it driving forward so hopefully next hopefully this year if not next so we'll start winning championships and and of course the whole idea of integration that that's crucial as well going forward oh absolutely yeah um it's kind of it, it, it's important to keep everyone involved and both on the committee level and on the, on the playing field that everyone's involved everyone's part of the club Eva Smith you are secretary of the club and I think everyone will acknowledge that it's the hardest working post in any club a secretary there's a bit of work on it all right but I suppose I always think that you know I get as much out of it as I put into it and that's that's the way I look at it you know and when you look at the people around you obviously as a, as a Secretary, you need to get loads of support because there's so much to do. Obviously, there's plenty of that available to you. There is. In fairness, we have a really good committee here at the minute. Um, everybody who's willing to put their shoulder to the wheel and get on with whatever has to be done, you only have to make a phone call. I suppose a big issue, Ita, in clubs, not alone in Cavan, everywhere, but particularly in Lara, immigration has caused great problems. It has. I suppose... From last year's team, I think I transferred, I think it was six or seven lads transferred out. Um, it's a huge, like starting players, it's a huge thing to, to lose that money in the one year, as well as a couple of lads who retired, that's just a natural fall off. We hope that they'll come back, um, but I wonder if structure is strong, and so we are pulling them through again. You know, I suppose it's giving maybe younger lads a chance to, to show what, what they can do. And how important is it to have a good underage structure at all levels? It's essential. It's just essential because you never know. You never know when a player is going to say, I've had an offer, I'm away. Like, I suppose we were just, we know there's still a couple of lads to go who are planning to go away this year. So we're always trying to get the underage lads, you know, from minor up, I suppose, for our senior team. And it's been the same for the ladies and the community would have the same issue, you know. Gary, if we can uh, go back to you in relation to uh, this, of course, is the home of PJ Duke Park, uh, rightly remembered for all the right reasons, and uh, a great ambassador at his time, but it's amazing that a man of his stature is still remembered fondly, particularly in this area. Yeah, look, I think, I think just as, as we talk about it, the PJ Duke Park here is 100 years old next year, Owen. Uh, when the Savone Club originally bought it, and of course was renamed in 1951 or 52 after PJ passed away. But we recently went to the schools to promote a reunion, and all the boys and girls knew who PJ Duke was. And I, I think I think that that's massive because you know um, he probably was the greatest footballer we would ever produce, and uh, his medals backed that up. And it was sad what happened to him at a time of a young age, but we we'll never forget him here. And I think the shrewd move back in that damn day was the renaming the pitch, and that that that'll always be the case. And as a group now, an organising committee for this prestigious event that's coming up, we can see even in the room tonight the amount of memorabilia that you have, but this is going to be chronicled and will be available for generations to come. Absolutely. Um, as I said, we, 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 put a, we put a committee together in January, as I said, Owen, uh, uh, six months in the making for this committee together back in January. We're working at that uh, for the last six months. 
We also got a sponsor on board, Damien Rudden, who, who is who's very generously sponsored the event. What you see here is a drop in the ocean, oh, and what we're going to have on Friday the 12th of July. It's going to be, there's going to be a thousand pictures on display here. Old jerseys, football boots, old bags, you name it, it'll be here that night. It'll, it'll be really spectacular, and we're really, really looking forward to it. And I suppose before then, and maybe even now, you will have associate sponsors who will go in along with you, you hope. Oh, absolutely. Um, I, th I think at the moment we have something like 20 to 25 uh, associate sponsors who are going to help sponsor these storyboards that we're creating. And the plan would be when the event is over, those storyboards will be relocated outside and will be here for the next, the next 50 years on. And I know that Damien is your main sponsor and your associate sponsors, that you would encourage people who live in the area to sp support your sponsors. Well, absolutely. Um, Thomas McKenna never refused money anyway, so whatever comes in, it'd be, be greatly appreciated. Yeah, would be. Um. Gary, thank you very much. Well, that brings to an end our meeting, our get together here in uh, Stradone Community Centre, as we say, the home of PJ Duke. Uh, thanks to Philip Devine, to Gary Robbins, to Ida Smith, and to uh, Thomas McKenna for joining us. There will be more about this coming up, so stay tuned to your social media platforms. And thank you very much for joining us. Until the next time, bye bye.